it's Marissa from Envy's Creative Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is a fall wreath. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you become a part of the family. And all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for uploads. Before we get into the video, I just want to give you an encouraging word for today, and that is dream. See, there is nothing wrong with dreaming. The only thing is not dreaming big enough. So go on and dream big, and I will see you guys soon. Here are the materials that you're going to need for this DIY. I have three rolls of mesh from the Dollar Tree. Some Chanel stems also from the Dollar Tree. And then I have a ribbon. This is uh, three yards or nine feet from the Dollar Tree. And then two colors and this is optional you do not have to use these you're also going to need a blue hat also a witch hat basically and then some jute cord I picked this one up from Walmart this is from the Dollar Tree and I actually had these florals from Walmart last year they still have some and then I have these uh, that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, these florals here. I just have a variety just for to see what I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our hat here, our witch hat, and we're just going to take this entire thing off. You can uh, save it. I do not. I will. I do not see myself using this, so I'm just going to toss it. And see, it has little pegs here, so you can just unwind it. But I think I'm just going to just snap mine off completely. Now that it is completely a blank canvas, what we're going to do is cut these little pegs off. And I'm going to, this is just a tie so that you can hang your wreath form. Now you have the choice of just saving it and uh, reusing it to hang your wreath, but I don't need it for this uh, wreath. So all I'm going to do is just cut, I'm just getting my floral cutters and I'm just going to snap them off. Just like now that. Now that I've cut all the pegs off, I just did the hat part. Uh, we're going to cover this up with mesh so you do not necessarily have to do that. But if you want to, uh, by all means, go right ahead. So I'm just going to take my jute cord and I'm going to start wrapping it around. You can do this with twine, uh, the smaller twine. They have some at the Dollar Tree. When it comes in this package here. But I like this because it's thicker and it'll take less time to wrap around. Okay, so I've already covered up my entire hat with twine. I did have a little spot here that I had trouble with. Um, but I'm not worried about this because we're going to cover it up with some ribbon. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to show you what we're going to do down here. I've uh, taken my mesh and my Chanel stems. So my Chanel stems, I just cut them in half from a long stem I just cut them in half and they look like this and I've cut my mesh into little pieces they're measuring about six five inches five to six inches and it doesn't have to be perfect I've also gone ahead and cut my 
ribbon. My ribbon is about eight and a half inches long and then I just cut the ends here. And then I ended up wanting to use these two little spools of ribbon that I had. And these are measuring about six inches long. And I did the same thing with these. I cut them, the ends here. And these I left alone. Um, so that is that. So let me show you how to put all of this together. I'm going to start with these here. So all I'm going to do is just take my mesh. I'm just going to take my mesh from one corner and just roll it up. To look like this and I'm going to put it in between my fingers here. I'm going to take another one and do the same and I'm just going to wrap it together. So you have it looking like this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take my ribbon and I'm just going to wrap that in between my fingers as well and we're going to fix it later so it looks good. Then I'm going to take a Chanel stem and just fold it and then put it in between. And what I like to do is I like to kind of gather it from the bottom up and I just hold it like this so it looks like this and I'm just going to straighten my Chanel stems and then twist. And a little twist is fine and then from here I'll fix my ribbon. Very nice, very simple. Okay, so we have that and then let me show you how to do these ones. Now you can arrange your colors um, however you prefer. I um, Sometimes I'll mix them up. I'll do some, you know, maybe like if I have three colors, I'll do one of each in one cluster. Or, you know, just it really just kind of depends on you. But I figured I might as well just uh, do, since I only had two colors, I'll do three of one color and three of the other. So I'm going to take my same concept here. Roll it up. And I just have it together like this. And then I'm going to take my smaller ribbon, and it doesn't matter what order you place it. Like if you want to put the bottom, the brown on the bottom and then the lighter like gold on the top it doesn't really matter. And all I'm going to do is the same thing as I did. I have it pinched here so you could do that as well. And then I'm just taking my Chanel stem into a V. And then I'm going to group it together at the top. Even out my stems and then twist. Now for here what I end up doing is I pull it to the side and it and it just fixes itself basically since so since I didn't cut these what I want to do here is cut them at an angle turn it around and cut it at the different angle and then we have that cluster here. So, I've already uh, made some ahead. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we put it together. Okay, so I have my wreath now, and I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, we were in the middle of a thunderstorm, so I don't have great um, lighting right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate and I'm just going to tie my Chanel stems 
with my cluster of mesh and ribbon on this here on my wreath. So it's going to go all the way around here. And I glued these just to kind of reinforce them because my intent were a little flimsy. So I just super glued them just to kind of, like I said, just reinforce them and make sure they're very stable. So I actually didn't do that to this one, so I'm going to go in and do that. And while I get there, it should dry. Was just a little smashed up. So I'm just going to, like I said, alternate, and all I'm going to do is grab it and tie it to the back. Really okay, simple. so I'm almost done here, but I wanted to show you um, instead of of putting tying these here on just this metal stem, I felt like it was not very sturdy. So what I've been doing is actually tying it to these bottom two here so I would wrap it around these two here as you can see right here so it's from the middle to the very bottom and I feel like it's way more sturdier so I just wanted to give you guys that little tip um, that way you can you know do it as well or you know however you like it but I like mine to to not move so that's what come I decided that it needed a little um, more sturdiness and that's what I found with these two here that it was even more sturdier. Okay so here is what our finished product look like, looks like and you can leave it as is. It's really cute the way it is. Um, I noticed that this little space that I had here is pretty much covered up by the mesh here. So I was originally thinking to put a little strap and it will look too it will look cute but I think it's too much already. So I was thinking, you know, maybe putting some leaves in like this. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. I'm gonna put some florals on. Um, thinking maybe some pine cones. I think that's what I'm gonna do for this wreath. And then I might put something here on the top. I just added it a little as bit as of leaves here as you can see I glued them down with uh, glue, my glue gun of course and then um, these little stems some florals that I had bought in at Walmart I got these last year and I used it in a vase and I just decided to reuse them for this project and um, then I put just a little floral stem here um, really simple I just cut down the stem and I weaved it into the uh, jute court here and I just glued it down to make sure that it was sturdy with glue and this is what our ring looks like hanging up I love it you guys I am a non-traditional decorator as I've mentioned many times on my channel before but for whatever reason I love the orange on this wreath and I'm not sure if it's the jute core that has, is bringing out the orange or vice versa but I think everything just works very well together and I love the little leaves at the bottom of course with the feathers and the grass and the very the top the feathers I'm sorry the flower at the very top I just everything just worked out very well it meshes very well together for anyone who is wanting to recreate this I just wanted to throw it out there for you guys um, that the meshed clusters that I showed you how to make, I used 14 in total. So I used seven with the wider ribbon and then seven with the thinner ribbon, just in case you guys wanted to recreate it. And also I only used one roll of each of mesh. So you, if you're gonna go in, you only know that you exactly what supplies you need. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything that you want to see in particular for me to create for you guys this fall series that we have going on. Um, stay tuned for some more fall DIYs. And if you are into crocheting, a part of the fall series, I have a little crocheting um, tutorials going on as well. So we're going to learn how to crochet here in a few days. 
we're gonna learn our stitches. Um, I do have the part one. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys in the description box of the tools that you'll be needing to crochet just so that you can familiarize yourself with that. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.